So Facebook is minting its own currency? What's next? Snapchat doing your laundry? The world is changing so fast it'll make your wallet spin. In this virtually Rick, cryptocurrency. So come with me, let's get virtual. What is cryptocurrency, Rick? Something that only comes out at Halloween? No, but it is spooking the financial world. You've heard of Bitcoin? Well, that's one of over 2,000 versions or brands of it. Right now, we use banks because they keep our money safe. But putting all your funds in one place has always made it very attractive to people who want to steal it. Also, moving it around is costly and slow, especially if you want to use it in another country. The charges, the exchange rates. Ugh. If you want to buy or sell things at some point, you have to use a bank, pay a fee, and hand over your hard-earned cash to an institution. But cryptocurrency is smashing all that to pieces. Bits, to be precise. It's all to do with trust. We take rides in strangers' cars, stay the night in their homes, and buy things from people we've never met before. Why? Because they're rated by others, and because when we use them, they rate us back. It's real, and we care about our ratings. We now trust strangers more than big institutions because they don't seem to care about us or be directly accountable to us. After all, they basically jailed one person for the entire global banking meltdown of 2008. Cryptocurrency uses something you're going to hear a lot about, so pay attention. It's called blockchain, the crypto in the currency. Essentially, a chain of unbreakable coded digital ledgers that everyone can see. Imagine the entire world watching you give or receive a dollar from a stranger in real time and make a note of it on their ledgers at the same time so that no one can cheat. We all saw it, so it's real. Basically, you use your own money to buy some bitcoins and then spend them wherever you want at any time around the world. I'm simplifying this hugely, but free-flowing money has a lot of advantages. No one can stop you using it. And there's problems with that too, especially if you want to use it for ill will. At the moment, however, bitcoins and cryptocurrencies are hugely unstable, with big spenders hoarding them as investments, so there's less in circulation. At first, very few merchants accepted bitcoin as currency, but soon you'll be able to hail a cab on your phone and ride inside a bank. Literally, in the case of a new cryptocurrency that's being founded by Uber, Facebook, Visa, Mastercard and Spotify. Spotify? Okay, I don't really get that last one. 2020 is going to be a crazy year for the US because aside from the elections, Facebook is going to be releasing its own cryptocurrency, Libra, into the world. Suddenly, the 2.38 billion people on Facebook, that's around a third of the world, will have access to a brand new way to buy and sell. One without borders. One, we're being assured, that will be free from Facebook snooping. However, be careful, read the fine print, because the devil's in the detail. You might not want your purchase history being shared with vendors. And Facebook hasn't exactly had the kind of track record that you may feel comfortable sharing your private personal finances with. Let's face it, they're not doing it out of the goodness of their cute little emoji hearts. A new currency that they indirectly mint means easier ways to link advertisers to purchases and also opens up the third world to people who use their phones to do banking hundreds of miles from the nearest town or ATM. The bigger, scarier questions are, what does it mean if money can move freely without intervention? Without government, there's no tax, and that means no roads. It also means no schools, hospitals, libraries, low-income housing, social services. And what about the police? Well, they're gone too. And as much as companies like Facebook are saying they'll be taking a responsible stance, Aren't we just replacing old institutions with new ones who we're less and less sure we can trust? And who'll make sure no one hacks in and steals it all? Facebook? Do you trust them to do that? And ultimately, if money can move that freely, won't it mean the end to countries where the rich elite who own the most cryptocurrency can just leave when they want and set up a new one of their own choosing? Facebook land, anyone? But the upside is fee-less transactions, freedom to choose how you use your money, and all kinds of new and exciting financial products that could make the world's economy boom. Whatever happens, cryptocurrencies are the future. So it looks like soon it'll be the end for our old pal Cash.